Unit 1 in the land of Lilliput. Listen to the following story. The antelope was a large ship. Once it was sailing in the Pacific Ocean. There were 30 sailors on it. Besides the sailors, there were a captain and a doctor named Gulliver. In the beginning, the sailing was smooth. But then, there arose a storm in the sea. There was strong wind and heavy rain. Sailing became difficult. The ship began to drift. Then, suddenly it hit against a rock and broke to pieces. Everyone on the ship started screaming and crying for help. They tried to swim to the shore, but only Gulliver reached the shore. It was the shore of an island. The name of the island was Lilliput. Gulliver walked some distance, but he was very tired. He fell asleep on the grass. He woke up the next morning and tried to get up. But getting up was not possible. His hands and legs were tied. Gulliver felt something walking on his body. It was a tiny man, only 15 centimeters tall. Soon there were several men on his body. They were all very tiny. There were lots of other tiny people on the ground. Some had bows and arrows in their hands. Gulliver was both hungry and thirsty. How can I talk to these people except through gestures? He thought. So he made signs for eating and drinking. Luckily, the tiny people understood his signs and brought small baskets of food. They also brought tiny barrels of water. Gulliver ate all the food and drank all the water. Now he felt refreshed. Walking will do me some good, he thought. But I cannot get up and so walking is not possible. Some tiny men went to the king of Lilliput and told him about Gulliver. How big is he? the king asked. He is very huge, they replied. Really? Go and bring him here. The king ordered, I want to see him. Seeing is believing, he added. The Lilliputians prepared a wooden carriage. It was about three and a half meters long, 120 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters high from the ground. Now, Lifting Gulliver and putting him on the carriage became a problem. With great difficulty, they solved it. After a day's journey, they brought him to the king's court. The king and his men said, Ah, this man is really very huge. He is as big as a mountain. They were afraid of him. But Gulliver greeted the king and promised to be their friend. The king was pleased and set him free. Gulliver lived on the island happily for a long time.